Hello everyone, this is Jim again. What does book a flight mean? Well, to book a flight means you save a place on that flight. So, if you remember before, I talked about the possibility of booking an alligator. You can't use book as a verb in that sense of hitting someone with a book. But you can use book as booking a flight on an airplane. That then saves your place on that airplane so you can travel to wherever it is you would like to go. We will start with flight only. So to fly, take an airplane. You have three choices here under this category. Round trip, one way, multi-city. Round trip is that you are going around, as in a circle is the shape, it's round. So if I start in one city, I go to another city, I'm going to go back around and come back to where I started. That's your round trip. So two ways. Or you can choose one way. I only want to fly one direction. For example, from London to New York. Just one way. Or you can choose multi-city. It means I will stop in one place and stay there, then go on to another place and stay there. So more than one place going in the same direction. For example, I will start in Los Angeles and then I will fly to New York and then a day later I will go to London. Multi-city. We are going to do round trip and here you need to type in from, which is the city or the airport that, where you will be leaving from. So for example here, I will write JFK, which is the airport code name for JFK Airport, John F. Kennedy Airport in New York City. So I click on that and I'm going to go to, let's say S-E-A, which is Seattle, the SeaTac Airport. So from, I'm leaving from JFK and going to, I want to arrive in Seattle. Okay, this choice right here allows you to choose more than one airport. For example, around New York City there are many airports within a distance of 80 miles. So in that circle, in that range, I could say, well maybe at Newark Airport, which is not too far away, and I could drive there too to leave from there. Maybe there is a cheaper flight, it costs less to leave from there. So I click that and then maybe it will give me choices not just from JFK, but from LaGuardia Airport, from Newark Airport. And then when I arrive in Seattle, well, I won't have a car, I have someone picking me up, I have to arrive in Seattle, so I do not choose that because I do not want to arrive further away than this distance. Here it says leave, that's your date. When I click there it gives me choices of months. So I can scroll over and I can choose let's say April 8th. Your return 
because remember we're doing a round trip. So I'm going to arrive in Seattle on this date, but I want to return to go back to JFK when I'm done with my trip. I want to do that a week later. Say I want to stay for one week. Okay, this says any time of the day. I can leave at any time. Okay, this is an option. Search three days before or after. So if I want to see more prices on flights, maybe they are cheaper on a Tuesday or a Monday than they are on a Wednesday. So I can click here and I can search more days to find a cheaper flight. But if I need to arrive exactly on this day, then I would not click that. Right here, you have to say how many adults ages 18 to 64. Between these ages is an adult and I am one. Seniors are old people over 65 years old. 65 years old and older. So if I am that old or someone with me traveling is that old, I would choose the number there. If I have children with me from baby until 17 years old, I would click here. Say I have one child with me. It will then ask me the age of children at the time of trip. So on this date, April, the month is first, April 8th, 2015, on that date, my child is how old? Well, if the child is less than two years old, that child can sit on my lap. Or I can choose to give that child their own seat. Anything two years old or older needs to have their own seat. So say I have a baby with me and I am not buying it a separate ticket, but I will sit that baby on my lap. It will sit on me. Then I would click there. Search flights. Let's see what results orbits will give us for round trip JFK to Seattle, leaving April 8th and returning April 15th. One adult, one baby under two years old sitting on my lap. Search flights. Congratulations, you have arrived at the conclusion of our first lecture. Now, something that Melissa talked about, which will be important throughout this course, is clicking. So you will be clicking on different things on various websites as you learn certain words, vocabulary in English. Um, something that I would recommend you do is, as we're going through take the site orbits.com right now, that you take some time right now or even while you're watching the lecture and practice yourself clicking on the different things where it says flight only or to book a flight. And something else you can try is find another website that offers different travel arrangements and practice. Try to go on it and see, can you figure out how to book a flight to another place? And if you do have some other people that you're taking this class with, take some time just to talk with one another about what places would they like to book a flight to. It could be to America. It could be to South Africa. It could be to Europe. It can be to Russian. It could Russia. It could be to Thailand. Just whatever it might be, the best thing for you to do right now is just to take some time 
whether it's using the internet or with the person next to you or someone else, and practice these things you've learned in the lecture. So, since I can depart whenever I want, until my next arrival.